Halloween is in full swing in GTA Online with the return of all the different UFOs you can find around the map. Just like last year, you are able to walk up to any of these UFOs and then get abducted, but this time around, there's actually a little special something, something that you have a chance of getting into, which is of course the following cutscene. There isn't really a whole lot to the room itself, but once we go outside of this room, stuff gets a little bit more interesting. Apologies in advance for the somewhat shoddy camera movement here, because, you know, didn't have a whole lot to work with. Regardless, inside of this room, there is a bunch of crates with the alien logo on it. And if we move across the hallway there, we can even see the oppressor Mark II being developed in front of our very eyes, which is either a nice little nod to, hey, this is actually alien technology, or to just have a little bit more tidbits of interesting things. The somewhat crazy thing about all these rooms is that I don't really know of anything or any ways of how we can access these rooms by just walking there. We have 10 seconds in the cutscene, and that's pretty much it. We can't get up, we just simply are there. Unless the version that I got to play didn't really have the option to do so, and maybe the live game will be different, but I really highly doubt that. The even more interesting thing is this mirror over here. There's four different signs on there, and the first one is actually on the room that we are laying in which might bring some speculation about whether or not there's more to this than we actually know at the time of recording. As of how you can get here yourself, there is a 25% chance while getting abducted by one of the UFOs that you end up here. Now, of course, this is a one-time only deal, and upon doing so, you'll also receive a question mark, question mark, question mark t-shirt, which looks like this. There's also a completely random chance of spawning in front of the building where we were inside during the cutscene. This is of course in Fort St. Kudo, and yes, you will probably get attacked by the army. I'm not entirely sure if you will also get a wanted level if you have a hangar inside of Fort St. Kudo. I would assume so, but feel free to let me know inside of the comments. If you're doing this in an infight only session, by the way, make sure to wait 5 minutes before trying to get abducted by any of the UFOs, because that is when the event will get active. So the ideal way of going about this, in my opinion, would be to enter a session during daytime, then wait 5 minutes and then wait for it to become night and the UFOs to show up, then get abducted, and then I guess start crossing your fingers if you get the cutscene or not. There's a 25% chance, honestly, it should only take you a few tries until you get it, unless you are really extremely unlucky. And finally, it is also worth noting that you can only see this cutscene once, so once you've seen it, you'll never ever be able to see it again, unless you go back in this video where I showed it, so I guess you're not really missing out a whole lot. There's not much to it, sadly. I wish they would have allowed us to kind of roam around the area and then just access through the elevator, which would have been nicer, but... I guess we cannot have everything. But with that said, that's it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And if you like what you see on the channel, become a member like Chloe, GTA Plus, and Notorious Jam. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.